guys get a lot of snow here. The Kubota, we, we charge $200 an hour for operation. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good backdrop with the dollies and stuff. <laughs> dollies, a bumper. Yep. All right, sweet. Are you uh, too much in the sun here? Does this work for you? No, it's good. All right, cool. Well, this is uh, this is Rich Lawson with. Do you want your last name by the way? I can yeah, that's cut fine. it out. Okay. No yeah. So uh, this is Rich Lawson with Mammoth Junk Removal. Is this your slogan? We'll handle your we'll junk. We'll handle your junk. <laughs> Come on. I love it. Um, so this is your shop space. Yes, sir. And you do. Uh, can you just kind of walk the viewers through the the various services your business provides? Because it's not just junk removal. True. Okay. We haul your rubbish. We'll move your stuff. We've got. There's a box back here full of moving blankets. We have a, a moving service as well, just integrated mm -hmm. nicely. Mm -hmm. Some people want to move, and then some people want to get rid of stuff while they're moving. Yeah. Made sense? Absolutely. And then in the midst of that, we learned that people also want to get rid of vehicles. <laughs> so we purchased some car hauler trailers, and we tow the vehicles away to salvage, to landfill, or to sell them. Or to another location if it doesn't move. To or... another location or give them away. Yeah. Wow. And then... Do you guys work with, like... Um... Salvation Army to donate those cars or any of those big organizations? Good question. We have a spot down in Bishop, uh -huh. which is 30 minutes downhill. It's a, a big resource center. So we do a lot of donations down there. Okay. Where we have the 20 foot enclosed trailer. We'll bring that down full of furniture from a oh, three cool. bedroom house. Okay. Beds, couches, everything. We just. And will they take with. it all or are they kind of selective about what they'll take? They'll take? They take it all. Nice. Even if it's got scratches. And they'll resell it or give it away to families in need? Yep. or Okay. Both. So yeah. they'll resell. But when they resell, it's usually really cheap. Sure. Especially if the condition's poor. Yeah. That's like Goodwill for exactly. us. But Goodwill doesn't take anything painted because they can't guarantee that it's not lead-based paint. Oh, So bummer. they'll only take like original finished product. Yeah. Like if it's stained or something, which I, I get. Um, and a lot of times they, they won't take things because uh, they don't have enough floor space. Yeah. Like bed frames, but yeah. it is what it is. Bed frames are yeah. just awkward and big and, and headboards. And absolutely. Yeah. So those are your main services. And then uh, you're down here in Mammoth, California. You're at what, 8,000 elevation, 9,000? Yeah, about 8,000 feet. Okay. So you get a lot of snow. Yep. And in the winter, you said that the junk removal dies down quite a bit. I imagine car hauling and moving also tapers off. Yes. So you're doing snow removal as well. Yeah, so we remove snow. We do roof snow removal clearing. So okay. we get crews up on the roofs, yeah. harnessed in. As you can see, all the harnesses, ropes, and shovels in the okay. back. They get up there, and they just start knocking down that snow so the roofs don't collapse. Wow. Yeah, I saw you guys have some pretty intense shovels up there. and Yeah, a lot of shovels. Yeah. That's got to be kind of expensive insurance or? Uh, <laughs> anything on a roof is expensive. Yeah. But when you have your house re-roofed, you know it's not cheap. Yeah. Because it has it comes with the cost of the labor on the roof. Right, right. Yeah. So that insurance cost is high. Yeah. And then so you do roof snow removal. You do you guys do parking lots or like a, you have a Kubota skid steer with a snow blower yeah. and a bucket. And so will you do like private roads? Do you have any contracts on private roads or driveways or what all we'll do you turn do? those down because uh -huh. we'll typically use the Kubota for our jobs where we're dropping snow in a, in, a, in a person's driveway. Okay. I want to make sure we clear the driveway so they can get in or out yeah. after they're done skiing. So then will you load that into your dump trailer and you'll haul the snow off? Sometimes. If we need to haul the snow off, we can, we've can. we done that in the past. Uh, yeah. We had a gal down the road. She's a widow. She's in her 80s. And the whole front of her roof shed busted up her deck, her stairs, yeah. blocked her garage, and she was stuck. Wow. And she just was, hey, I don't have much money. I'm yeah. in a bad spot. Yeah. So, hey, let's come get some snow out of there for you. Yeah. So we just went over there and had a fun time. Nice. Digging out her stairs, and it was cool. She, and you took that skid steer? Yep. Okay. Had 15 cups of coffee or so. <laughs> oh, man. She, she just kept offering co coffee and cookies. Yeah. Thank you, guys. That'll keep you going. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. So what, what percentage of the business mix, like of your overall sales in a year, would you say is junk removal versus the other services you do? So Summit Snow Removal is our snow removal business. Mm -hmm. And that's so kind of a separate entity. It's a distinct entity. They're both in the removal business, yeah. which is great. Yeah. So um, majority of the revenue comes from snow removal. Okay. And once, obviously that's seasonal. Yeah. In the summertime, you don't remove snow. Right, right. But in the after a big winter like we had, we have to clear out all the broken debris from houses, decks, patio uh, okay. furniture, 
crushed vehicles. Yeah. So they'll call so you for the snow removal and then you can also kind of upsell them or bid them on, yeah. hey, we can take the deck and all this other junk here. Exactly. Okay. So we have the equipment to haul away your junk and yep. your snow. Yeah. Well, so can you show me a little bit of your either shop and then maybe we can go through your equipment as well? Sure. Okay. Now it's full of clutter. Yeah. It's a junk hey, business. That's the way it goes. That's all right. Every once in a while you get good things. And, oh. <laughs> So Rich, you, you have this shop and you store valuable items and resell them in here? We try to resell, but it doesn't usually work up here. <laughs> sure. So we end up giving them away. Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist? Yeah, Facebook Marketplace. It's a good spot to give things away. Rarely yeah. do we sell. Okay. Although I want to. Yeah. We had yeah. a $6,000 double oven. Oh, man. One of those nice industrial kitchen ones. Yeah. Wow, this is so nice. It's perfect. Yeah. But nobody would buy it for 200 bucks. Damn, that's crazy. So I scooped it up with the Kubota and I put it in the trash. <sighs> Yeah, I hate Bummer. when you have to do that. Yeah. Um, box of moving blankets. Yep. It's for the moving business. Yep, for moving junk. And you've got two enclosed trailers with that? Uh, moving business? Or? One, one enclosed trailer. One enclosed. The 20 foot's That's, mine. Okay. And then we use others. We'll rent them from friends. This is the snow blower. Yeah, this pushes a lot of snow. Seems yeah. cool. So you're doing driveways, and then you'll, you'll take uh, the snow off the roof, push yep. it down onto the driveway, and you'll get rid of it. From that. Yeah, we clear roofs. When they're cleared, we clear the driveway, so... You get into your house and have your hot chocolate after you yeah. ski. Can I ask you what are you trying? What are you charging per hour, like the customer for roof snow removal, or like with the Kubota? So for per employee, we have one hundred and five dollars an hour on the roof. Okay. So if it's a five man crew, that's five hundred and twenty five dollars an hour. Okay. Uh, and some jobs take three or four days. Wow. Which is nuts. You guys get a lot of snow here. The Kubota, we we charge two hundred dollars an hour for operation. Yeah. Which that is, doesn't include the the driver, or it does. That includes the driver. Okay. Okay. So we, we pay the driver and then we, mm -hmm. we recuperate the rest. Sure. That goes into maintenance and yeah. obviously it's an expensive piece of equipment. Absolutely. But if you keep it busy, yeah. six weeks, it paid for itself. Yeah. So one winter. Nice. One winter and yeah. only six weeks of one winter. Wow. Which was great. Was that last year when you guys had a ton of snow? Oh, gosh. Yeah. yeah and uh, you were saying 700 inches of snow? 700 inches of snow. Holy cow. Not, the mountaintop had 900 inches. In town Goodness. was 700 inches. To give you a reference point, power lines were covered with snow. That's insane. You could walk into two-story bedrooms. You could jump off balconies just right yeah. over. I saw pictures. It was nuts. Yeah. Was that an old uh, flatbed trailer or something? Yeah. Uh, so there? every once in a while, when you go to the landfill, yeah. you find treasures. Okay. So I, at the landfill, I, I scooped up a Craftsman ride-along mower. Yeah. Wow. Changed the fuel filter, and it worked perfect. And they'll let you take it from they, somebody else's load or...? No. Okay. But you're friends with them and they like you. There you go. Okay. All right. So that good. was a trailer and it actually yeah. had the axle and tires on it. Yeah. And it was free with the light with license plate. Are you gonna are you gonna put it back to use or no I'm gonna give it to a guy. Somebody. Okay. Yeah, he just hasn't picked it up yet. Okay. All right. It's got a new axle for it and tires, so Yeah. It's just a little eight by four harbor freight trailer, but yeah. it was yeah. free. I just I saw it like I was like, Oh, there's a trailer there on the wall. Yep. You got all your snow we've shovels. Got, we've got two of those. Yeah. That's the second one. Wow. So those are your harnesses for being on roofs? Harnesses, extra moving blankets. Man. There, we could definitely use uh, organizational skills, but oh. at the same time. You fit a lot in a small space, though. I mean, it's not a small space, but you've got a lot here. Yeah. So you're making good use of it. And we have a lot of people coming in and out yeah. grabbing stuff. So yeah. my guys will come in for junk jobs, and yeah. they're grabbing whatever they need for those jobs, whether it's shovels, brooms. Right scrapers for popcorn ceiling and you said they do tools. some some demolition as well some light demolition light demo yeah yeah so like we, cabinets and that kind of stuff or we'll take out cabinets we'll take out kitchen uh kitchen cabinets all the appliances we'll take out countertops we'll take out the, the lower parts if needed we do yeah. oops sorry oh you're good we do uh, uh we did bathroom vanities this last week okay um Flooring? We take out flooring. Yeah, I saw the, the, the worst, plates. The worst part about the flooring is when you do tile. Yeah. There's the like, magic wonder board underneath. Yeah. Whatever it's called. It's, Where it's all glued down. Yeah, concreted, glued. It's yeah. horrible. But we'll do it. Yeah. We've taken off uh, roof shingles since our guys have roofing experience. And then you were saying you have, what, four employees, and that doesn't include your driver in the winter for snow blowing? So four employees for junk removal, and then uh -huh. 185 in the winter for snow removal. So... Right now, we just have four guys going. Yeah. Four guys, two diesel trucks, yep. two dump trailers okay. as needed, and then the extra trailers for, for the extra jobs. Yeah. Now, um, can we go look at your outside equipment? Come on in. Sweet. 
or come on out. Yeah. And you said you run pre emissions trucks? Yep, pre emission. Uh, and this is one of them here? Yep, it's just a L Chevy Duramax with the LBZ motor. Uh huh. And I think it's sweet. I rode in it over here. And it's, it's very stiff. It holds. Oh, wow, that's really what well. it should be, though. Yep. Sounds and so like we a real pull, truck. We have two of these 14 by 7 by four foot high trailers. Yep. Um, this one's made by Imago out of San, San Clemente, I think it is. Okay. And it's a 14,000 pound rating. Okay. I what kind of a, is. is it a scissor? Is it a, what kind of a, okay. Yeah, scissor uh, ram. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So and then ram. you've got the, the rear jacks here. So if you're loading a big piece of equipment in the back. Yeah, which we generally don't do. Yeah. We can if we need to, but. We don't. Yeah. We live in a small community. Okay, that's the Imago. I-M-A-G-O. It looks pretty beefy, though. I like these LED lights, how they come up the side. Oh, let me show you the flashers. Okay. And you were saying you like this box because you can flip it on from inside. Yeah. So if you're disconnected, it's got a switch and there. And you leave it on site. Let me know if the lights are on back I'll let there. you know. I don't know if that was the correct spot. Uh, it looks like a... Oh, yeah, you got strobes going. That's Same. cool. Now they're off. Okay, and then back on. Yep. There you go. That's cool. I always see the lights down here, and then they get beat up when your load falls out. That's right. So that's nice to have them on the side. I've never seen that. Our first trailer had that, and the lights on the bottom just were hammered. Yeah, mine are already getting beat up. and Especially when you've got a lot of uh, uh, wet stuff, and there's yeah. paint or solvent that's uh, in the load. Yeah. And sometimes we, we rent the trailers out too for jobs. Okay. And so we just, I'll drop it off and pick it up. And then, yeah. And what, what do you charge to rent the trailer out? Uh, 350. Okay. And is that like three days or? They can have it 24 hours. 24 hours. Okay. You'll drop and it off. And then I'll give them a week rate too. Will you let different. them drive it or you lock it on site as a dumpster? Depends on the person. Yeah. I, if know, you know. I know some people, some contractors that can handle driving them. So sure. I let them drive it. Yep. They always get beat up though. This was a new one and it's already yeah. got dents and dings here and there. Sure. And that's. You know <laughs> the way it goes right the way it goes yes yeah, so you got the fully welded fenders with the side steps that's always nice these handles and then the tarper yeah what do you uh what would you change about this trailer if you were building it again or i would get rid of these yeah and make like a little latch and you said something about the jack oh and i'd change the jack yeah yeah this one works it's um but there's one that's got the drop leg so it's got a lever you pull yeah. And you slide it down, then you just crank it. Really quick. Hand crank, really quick. Yeah. The other thing would be, well, I reckon that would be it. Okay. And it works great. One of our big problems here, though, is we get bears. Oh. So if we don't make it to the landfill in time in the day, it closes at four. Yeah. And I've cleared out a house, including just junk in the fridge. Sure. My other trailer has a ripped tarp because the bear decided to go through it. So when I came to the shop the next morning, there's paint buckets on the ground outside oh, no. there's trash everywhere yeah oh. we're camping like 15 minutes away and they said there's a bear that comes through so put all your stuff inside well see there's a nice bear dropping right next to my dumpster oh my gosh because they go in the dumpster that's what living in the mountains is yep if i don't close the dumpster they're climbing in it yeah and that's a good reminder i'm going to close my dumpster <laughs> so how many miles does this truck have on it uh it's currently i think 172 now yeah oh there's the bear bear hair oh my gosh oh yeah the bear got through <laughs> they're smart smart critters i bought the truck from a, a gal down yeah. down the hill and she oh this is fun she thought it had 173,000 miles on it and so i made her an offer 15,000 bucks yeah she said sure yeah and it was it, old lady owned yeah and she yeah. lifted the darn thing yeah so I start driving up the hill. Oh, she's got it in kilometers. So I'm playing with the gauge. And then it turns out it's got 110,000 miles. Oh, my gosh. Because oh. it was in kilometers? It was in kilometers. Oh, my gosh. So then the same day I was offered 25,000 for it. <sighs> but I just paid 15. Yeah. Well, you don't want to get rid of it now. But then what are you going to do? You got to buy another truck. got to buy another truck. Yeah. And this thing is a great work truck. Yeah. So we put 60,000 miles or 63,000 miles of really heavy workload on this truck. Yeah. And I have had zero problems with the transmission and the engine. Okay. And you did you put the banks on it? Yep, I put the banks on it. Uh huh. And that was for. So it's a bank six gun tuner, you said. Yeah, bank six six gun tuner. That's and nice. And the kryptonite front end, which is really important for these trucks. 
what is the kryptonite front end? Is that suspension work? So you take a tie rod. The stock tie rods were like pinky size. Okay. And for a heavy duty truck, that's nothing. Yeah. So when you put the kryptonite front end, you turn your tie rods into really thick ones. Yeah, like golf ball thickness. Nice. Huge. So it yeah. really helps your steering. Did they have a truck camper on this? I did. Yeah. Oh, okay. I saw the tabs there underneath. Put a camper on it. Yeah. This thing is sweet. So beefed it up. So what's your other truck right now? That's uh, another LBZ dually. Uh-huh. 3,500 then? 3,500. Uh-huh. Four-door long bed yeah. <clears throat> with a gooseneck. Oh, okay. And that one will pull. Do you lot. have any goosenecks? Not yet. Okay. You That's plan on purchase. getting? Yeah. What would you, What are you thinking of getting next, equipment-wise? 40-foot tilt deck container, low-boy container mover. Okay. So something we can load containers, sheds vehicles oh. and heavy equipment on so you're gonna throw a big winch on the front yep to pull stuff up yeah i got the twelve thousand pound winch on the in the shop already okay i saw that yeah yeah and then you you have another dump trailer and that's not here right now yeah it's on a job the guys are unloading appliances yeah about the same size same size exactly yeah yep and then can we take a look at your moving trailer sure sweet the thing is it's great it's just not great in the winter yeah have snow loads that's what you're roof. saying what's to, uh what's something that you've learned in this business you weren't expecting to hmm. <laughs> good question i know i just threw it out of thin air so <laughs> um like are you are well, you surprised at how many good treasures you find oh yeah okay. that's true okay good yeah. point we because I, I am we I find a, good stuff all the time. I'm like, oh, this is cool. We get all kinds of stuff from firearms to ammo to vehicles, yeah. collector's cars to cash to gold, diamonds, wow. okay. silver. Um, I got to come down to Mammoth more. Like. <laughs> more a, there's a lot of really good stuff. Yeah. So actually my whole house is yeah. kind of funny. Our whole house is furnished for free with beautiful oak hardwood That's awesome. furnishings, leather sofas. Yeah. It's I've got backyard patio furniture and some stuff like that. Yeah, so. it, it makes sense. It's yeah. If you get it for free and it's great, why not? Hey, yeah, why not? So, eight by twenty. Eight or, by twenty. Yep. Okay. So you can put a small. You can put two side by sides in there, or a wow. bunch of motorcycles or junk. What's the weight rating on this? Uh, probably doesn't really matter with household I think it's, stuff. What is it, 27? So 10,000 pounds. Yeah, I guess it's so I won't go all the way. Yeah. Oh, there's still some junk in there. <laughs> go figure. All right, spare and the fire extinguisher. Cool. Yep. Good space. Yeah. And we'll use this as a as an additional trailer. So let's say you get For to a, a big, job. A big clean out or? Yeah. Okay. Somebody buys a home and they don't want the furniture that's in the home. Yeah. So usually when escrow closes, We'll show up, we'll meet the new homeowner, Yeah. and there's half junk, half good. Yeah. So this is going to take all the good stuff to the thrift store. Sure, sure. Get them a donation receipt, and then the junk goes to the landfill. Nice. So the two trucks, one pulls to the landfill, one pulls the opposite direction. I love it, yeah. To donate. I, I, want a, I want a dedicated scrap trailer, and then I also want a dedicated, like, good saving stuff trailer. Yes. Slash resell. Yes. I don't have the space right now. I need to rent a shop, but... Uh, and you may have better luck on the resale end. There's that, that guy that does... Uh, well, I have a bigger population base around me. You do. So that helps. I mean, there's a lot of competition, but there's um, a lot of people that want to buy, you know, use goods, so... Yeah. Well, yeah, it's like having a thrift store. It is, yeah. And some of it's really high-end, high-end unique stuff. Yeah. So you've grown this business. You started in 2021, you said? Yeah, August 21. And you said that um now you've got the four full-time guys or do you think you'll continue to grow it or do you like the size of it or where do you want to take the business well next summer one one of my guys my main guy yeah he's purchasing the business from me okay so my plan was to build it to show it's a lucrative business yeah and sell it okay so that i can have another front load of cash yeah to start something, something else. else okay so Something do you just you kind of just enjoy starting the business and getting it going and oh it's been fun yeah I mean I, I coolest, enjoy that too I've had twelve different businesses in my life oh cool and there's been good and bad pros and cons some yeah. some successful some just you can buy sure yeah it was a great idea but it didn't work so <laughs> this one really took traction yeah and, and grew so I mean four guys going regularly but we have an additional four as pinch hitters to come in 
Sure. So if we need eight on hand, we have eight. Uh, that's, nice. that's a lot of junk to move. That's a lot of people to manage too. Oh, for a small little mountain town. That's yeah. Yeah. But I, I when it, I was Googling is. businesses down here to look to interview, there was only a couple. Yeah. You know, but you're in a highly kind of tourist town. Yeah. Resort so, town. yeah. So how does that kind of play into this business? Cause I imagine there's a lot of wealth and like yeah. uh, vacation rentals. Yes. Are you in with a lot of real estate agents and property management companies or? That's the best market. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I just uh, network with the brokers, the real, realtors in town. Yeah. And they, because they're seeing such a volume of a turnover. turnover. Yeah. When you have a horrible winter, people just bail. They don't want to live here. Yeah. And I saw, we had one house that, in particular that was sold before the big winter. Yeah. And then they sold it after the big winter because oh, they were over it. They didn't want to have it. They didn't yeah. want to deal with it. But they had just furnished it with brand new furnishings. Oh my gosh. It's their second home or vacation home. So yeah. They didn't want to be here to deal with it. They sold it fully furnished with brand new furnishings. Yeah. Interesting. So all my guys were stoked. They came up on great furniture for their house. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. So we have a, a big volume of money yeah. when you deal with multi-million dollar vacation homes. Which just means a lot of the stuff you're getting is not actually junk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's nice. And then your inside shop, you've got some stuff that you're reselling as well. Uh, Maybe. Try and <laughs> yeah. give it away. <laughs> Try to give it away, really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's random things in there. Yeah. Stuff to save, stuff to... Uh, you know, I guess in our own lives, there's yeah. when you go to get rid of stuff, you go to clear out your closet... It's very rare that day of you actually take it to the thrift store. You'll bag it yeah. and you'll move it downstairs yeah. in the garage. Make a pile for a, a while. Make a pile. And you have to do this like kind of a release of that. Yeah. I'm Okay, now I'm ready to, <laughs> to sever myself from it. Well, there's. I, I haven't used it. It's been here six months. So. Exactly. So yeah. there's some items where you're, you're looking at it like, I don't need it, but I like it. Yeah. I'll let it sit here for yeah. three months. Okay, <laughs> now I'm going to get rid of it. Awesome. So it's just a. If, if you were starting you know, out again out. and you were a young. Young guy, old guy, it doesn't matter the age, I suppose. But you were a guy and said, okay, I've got a truck. Uh, what's the next tool or piece of equipment? And, and you said, I think I want to go into junk removal. Would you buy a dump trailer first or would you go ahead and get like a landscape trailer because it's cheaper? Obviously, your time, though, is unloading it. Correct. Uh, would you do it again with dump trailers? 100%. Okay. So I bought the truck and I was originally planning on buying a firewood business. Okay. And as I was out with the firewood business owner yeah. doing a run with him, I had asked him, hey, is there a junk business in town? And he said, no. Yeah. It's like, oh, cool. <laughs> Got online that day. I found a trailer I wanted. The next day I went up and bought it. Nice. And then that was it. Started it. Yeah. As soon as you build the Google page, yep. the business just starts coming in. How many reviews do you guys have right now, do you think? Oh, I don't know. Maybe 20 or something. Really? I asked a lot in the beginning, but I haven't asked yeah. lately. Yeah. Yeah. We, we have a lot of competition, so I have like nine reviews, I think. Okay. But it's enough that I get calls and texts and stuff. Five-star reviews. Yeah, they're yeah. all five-star. All, all of ours are five-star, yeah. too. Google My Business is probably the most crucial yes. marketing tool. Huge. I think. So good. Yeah, and then networking. You know, Networking, and then one of, the, one of the fun things is I'll park the trailer, one of the trailers up front here next to the hardware store. Yeah. And I'll leave it there. Yeah. And that itself will advertise for me with the contractors. Right. And because of that, I've had maybe about calls. an extra 2000 bucks a month in business. Sweet. Just leaving it there by the hardware store. Yeah. Awesome. Which is cool. Yeah. Yeah. Any other final thoughts you want to share with the junk removal hauling community? <laughs> that's, I think well, that's who watches my channel. So yeah. So you, there's, there's the days where you're doing a job and you're absolutely hating life. Yeah. The stuff you're moving is junk, nasty. We had, we've come across those every, every junk remover has a horror story yeah, too. Yeah. And we've had those and they're gross. But then, you know, you come home, you like want to throw away all of your clothes. Right. I want to wash my car out. That was gross. Yeah. But then the next day you go to a job and it's a three-story, beautiful log cabin vacation yeah. home full of cool stuff. Yeah. And they say, we don't want it. Yeah. Oh, cool. This is Made much, it all this worth is much it more again. fun. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. That's true. There's ups and downs. There's, and, there's highs and lows. And you've had so many businesses and I, I think that's probably what a reoccurring theme there's good days and bad There's days. Good days right? and bad days. Yeah, it's life. Yeah. I think that's a common theme in life. Yeah. You good days and bad days. So well, in you, business, this has been a really fun business. Yeah. I would I recommend it. Uh, I don't recommend it in Mammoth Lakes because it's just seasonal. Yeah. I recommend it where you can have a population and go twenty four or sorry, twelve. <laughs> twelve, 12 months, months out of the year. Sure. And be busy nonstop. 
Yeah. Last year, we were only busy from April to October. Okay. Actually, April to September was busy. October was slow. And then we didn't work the whole winter. And now for your guys, will you have... Will you just keep them on a 12 month payroll or how do you They transition into the snow business okay. and they go on payroll there. Yeah, yeah. And that, that cuz that's a different insurance. Sure, sure. This is more of this is much lighter insurance. Yeah, yeah. But this insurance doesn't cover the roof work. Yeah. So they just transition and their paychecks look differently. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Well, awesome. Thank you so much, Rich. We appreciate your business and um I will leave your phone number and links to your website and all Thanks. that in the end of the video and also under, underneath. But uh, I really do appreciate your time. I just enjoyed meeting you. We'll handle your junk. <laughs> all right. Thank you so much. Sweet. Nicely done. Thank you.